So this is what you see when you walk in the door and immediately to the left of the door you have my for or our fridge and microwave that came with the room and all of these snacks are mine we have nothing in our freezer but there's the game schedule that is on everyone's fridge so we don't really have much in here but we have a brita filter and a carton of milk so let's make our way over to my bed it is super comfortable so i have this really kind of cool like off pink colored um, duvet cover from urban outfitters that i got on sale the duvet itself is from bed bath and beyond and i have this good vibes pillow that i also got on sale Urban Outfitters. I have that back pillow, which is white and fuzzy. That is from Bed Bath & Beyond. Then I have this really fuzzy white blanket also from Bed Bath & Beyond. And then I have this tapestry, which is really like ratchetly hung and it is not flat on the wall at all because I had to use command strips. And honestly, the first like few days, a couple weeks, it was like just ridiculous trying to keep this up. But anyways, this was also on sale at Urban Outfitters. Basically, I just spent like my entire senior year stalking the Urban Outfitters sales section until I found what I wanted. Up here, I have some lights from Walmart that look really weird in like this daylight because it's like the middle of the day. I have all of these pictures that I printed out on glossy paper. So I got these three framed pictures on the streets of New York City. Then this wall just has a bunch of stuff. The three um, pictures in the middle, those are from those are from New York as well. I have two posters that I got at the Women's March in DC from now. Uh, two playbills from some of my favorite musicals, and then just like some Brandy Melville stickers and random things that I liked. And then on the end of my bed, I just have some bags. And then under my bed, this is not very clean, but I have these four um, drawers from Bed Bath & Beyond that I just have clothes in. Those are really helpful. And then over there is my backpack and then the suitcases that I came here with. So this is the top shelf of my desk. So I just have my textbooks, and then this is a hat that um, I got for free. You get a lot of free stuff here at USC. And then this is just a painted candle jar that has washi tape, and I use it as a bookend, or else all of these will just fall. And then I got this really weird thing at the Science Museum. I don't know why, I just really wanted it. It's basically this thing that can just like move into like any shape. And then here's my bulletin board. All the pictures are kind of curved because I brought them in a rubber band. And then this is my class schedule. And I have some sunglasses. And then a little watering can that I got at Michael's for 50 cents. And that has some bracelets. And then this um, decorated uh, toilet paper roll uh, has my necklaces because I didn't want to bring like a big jewelry holder. And then this is just something that I got at TJ Maxx. And then on the corner here, I have some bubbles in the shape of a fish that I got at the Science Museum. I have a pencil cup, a water bottle, and then my hydro flask, and I lost the cap to my hydro flask in the dining hall. I'm so sad about it. And then this is just something that I made. I printed out like pictures from Tumblr that I thought would be like inspirational. And I have a picture frame with me and my friend in Big Sur. And then I have this little elephant that I got at TJ Maxx that has jewelry on it and then some like random books that I decided to bring with me. And there's my laptop. And then on this pea soup colored chair, I have a pillow that I made myself. Well, not like the actual pillow, but the um, print, I printed that on. So this is my dresser. I still don't have a great way of storing my makeup yet. So I've just been keeping it all 
or at least all the stuff that I use like on a daily basis in that uh, polka dotted makeup bag. So I have this light up makeup mirror that was like 20 bucks at Bed Bath & Beyond or something. And then I have my Keurig on this little uh, plate dish thing that I got for a dollar at like a Goodwill. I have just some like everyday like lotions and like perfumes and stuff. I have two decorated uh, empty candle jars with Q-tips and cotton balls. So I have my palettes here. I really don't wear eyeshadow that much, but I really like having them in case I want it. And then basically just a bunch of like stuff that I use on an almost daily basis. And then on this side of the room is my closet. Closet really isn't that exciting or that organized, to be honest. But I have this gray kind of storage thing that I got at Bed Bath & Beyond. And in the top one, I just have like a plate and a bowl and some silverware, some miscellaneous snacks, um, Tide Pods, some like wipes and air freshener. These are just some extra sweaters. I have a USC beach towel and then some scarves that I never wear because this is Los Angeles. There really is no like rhyme or reason to how any of this is hung, but I really recommend having a robe in college. Even though I do have my bathroom like right outside my door, it is still really nice having a robe. I have this like skirt hanger that holds like multiple skirts that um, is from Target. Here I just have shoes and so I have my dumbbells, my ankle weights and my yoga mat and then my hamper with very exciting, dirty clothes. And then right next to the closet is a full-length mirror that my roommate and I share. So that is pretty much it for my dorm room. I really like how it turned out. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this or got some inspiration or ideas for your dorm room, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys.